Welcome back. In this lesson, we want to talk about the layout editor. This is basically where we build our user interfaces for our applications. Using graphical interfaces, we can build a variety of UIs such as buttons, image views, scrolling views, or similar. So I'm going to go ahead into Android Studio and I'm actually going to go ahead and start a new application. So I'm going to go in here, say start a new application. Like before, I'm going to use empty activity. If you don't remember these settings, I'm going to really quickly recap them. We use SDK version 27. That's the one that we actually decided to use for the remainder of this course. We use a language of Kotlin. This is a place that you actually save your application. We use the reverse name of our domain or website. Or if we don't have a website, we just use a re reverse name of our not name. Let's say Steve. It doesn't matter for now. So we do that. Then the last thing we do is we actually have to give it a name. And this application, I'm going to call it App for Layout Editor. Doesn't really matter what you call it at this point because we're not really going to uh, publish any of these applications or even uh, even send it to our friends or anything. We're just going to do it for our own tests. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say finish. And once again, once my Android Studio opens up, uh, in another lesson, which I think is the lesson coming up after this one, I'm going to talk to you about everything that is here in the Android Studio. But before that, I want to actually build a little bit of your confidence. And because of that, we are going to one of the files in here. And I want you to just follow me along. I want you to go here in your Android project. And if you don't really see this one here, you have to press a little project window. Or if you want, you can actually go to view tool windows. And in here, you can actually go to project. So once you have in here, I want you to go to a folder called resources, res, and I want you to go to a folder called layout, and I want you to open a file called activity underscore main. Once you end up in the activity underscore main, you might see this code or you might see an interface depending on the settings of your Android Studio. But regardless, I want you to actually go up here and press this little button that's going to actually show you the design of your Android Studio, which is basically going to show you what you are designing for this coming application. This is where we have that hello world that you saw it when we first ran our application. So in the design mode, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say, I don't want this one. Let's go ahead and delete it. And then from this palette of components on the side, I can actually add a few objects in here. Let's say I want to have a button and this button, I want to make it a little bit larger. All right. So like that. And then for my button, I want the text on it to be say register. Let's say this is a registration uh, uh, view. And then in here, I'm actually going to go ahead to the text. I'm going to say, give me a plain text that is going to be there. I'm going to call this one uh, username, for instance. And then I'm going to have another one, which is for a password. And I'm going to place it there. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to just play around a little bit with all of these stuff. Some of the components you find in here, they make sense very easily, such as, you know, when you want to add a button or if you want to add a checkbox uh, or if you want to add a text. Some of them are a little bit more complex stuff, such as when you want to add a layout or if you want to add a container. You will get to see most of these through the course. The ones that we probably won't get to see are rather simple. You can figure them out by yourself or I will give you some hints about how you should use them. But the important thing is that we have to learn that this file, the activity underscore main XML, is basically where we create our Android applications interfaces. It has two modes. One mode is the design mode, which is the one we're currently using. And it has a programming mode, which you can actually hard code your pieces of interface, which we will see in the upcoming lessons, how we use that. For now, I want you to use the design mode and add a few elements in here so you can build a little bit of confidence into how the interfaces are actually created. Keep something in mind that is, if you run this application right now, you will not see this interface. Let me actually show that to you. If I go ahead and run my application, and when the application loads, we actually see something like this, which is quite different. We only see one of the buttons and none of the two uh, edit text. And that's simply because we need to set our constraints for this. And that's something that we're going to talk about in, in another lesson in, in more details. If any of you is really interested in doing it right away and you want to get a sense of how it works, you basically need to set up where these different objects are laid out. I'm going to do a very basic one right now, simply because this isn't the topic of this lesson. I'm going to go ahead and say there is a constraint up there. There is another one over there. 
and then I'm gonna select this other object, say there is a constraint from this one to that one, and one to the left of it, and then I'm gonna say this button is in here, and that is there. I know this makes up for a very ugly user interface, but this is actually gonna work, and we're gonna be able to see it in our, our interface uh, in here, which is giving us a little bit more confidence as to what things are and how, how they work. But again, like I said, we will have a lesson that we talk about these uh, constraints in details and how we set them as well as things such as guides and barriers and whatnot. For now, all you want to do is you want to go through these guys in here, all the stuff in the palettes and just drag and drop some of them just to get a sense of what do they do and what do they mean. Again, some of them are going to be very simple. Some of them are going to be a little bit more, more complicated. Uh, don't worry about the complex ones. You're not going to make any of these actually do anything. We are not writing any code. None of them is meant to work. We're just trying to get a little bit more familiarity with how this interface uh, builder basically works for us. Once you're done with that, Let's go ahead to our next lesson where we actually explore all of our Android Studio and we get a sense of how things are actually working in here.